Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Townsend Bell with KnifeManual.com and today I'm going to be talking about how to wrap and put paracord around your knife handle. So there's a million different ways why you'd want to put paracord on your knife, but one of the reasons that I do it is if you're out in the wilderness or in a survival situation, paracord is just an invaluable material to have because it's super strong, versatile, there's just a million ways to use it. So if you have it on your knife handle, as long as you have your knife, you have paracord. So that's just a really great upside to putting paracord on your knife. So today I'm gonna to be going over three separate ways to wrap your knife handle, and they're just like different patterns and ways of doing it. They're all pretty simple and easy, and so I can't wait to share those with you. And make sure to stay till the end because I'm gonna go over a lot of tips and tricks at the end of this video on how to just how to do this successfully and get it done on your first try. Because a lot of times I see people just completely mess up and they just end up with a very uneven looking pattern or it's just a big rat's nest of paracord. So let's make sure it gets it done the first try and I'm gonna show you how. Let's jump right into it. All right, so these are the materials that we're going to need to make a paracord handle for this knife. So we've got about six feet of paracord right here and if your knife is a lot bigger than this one, you might need up to like eight or nine feet, but six feet should work good for this one. And then we've got a, a sheath for our knife which is just some cardboard folded in half and then wrapped in some painter's tape just to protect the blade so when we're using when we're putting the handle on then we just don't cut ourselves you could also just put on some leather gloves and that'll work just fine and then we've got some scissors here to cut any excess paracord off of the handle and then we've got a lighter to singe the ends of the paracord once we're finished all right so i'm going to put these two away and then we're going to get started with the first method so the first method, we're going to match up the two ends of the paracord and then find the middle point of all of our paracord. So now that we have our middle as a little loop, we have a hole right there in the handle and we're going to stick it through the hole. So after it's through the hole, it's gonna come out as a loop on the other end. Then you're gonna extend the loop and then put it over the handle just like that and then put the two ends through the loop and then tighten it down just like that so now we've got the the string coming off of one side of the handle and now we're going to turn the handle over so it's coming out of the bottom of the handle and then we're going to straighten out our ends just like that and then we're going to take the left side of string and place it over the handle and over the right side so it's on top of everything. And then you're gonna take the right end and put it through the little loop that's created from the left string and then pull it tight. And then it's gonna create this sort of knot. Let's get that focused. It's gonna create this little knot right here. And we're going to shove it right up against that last one and then we're going to turn the whole knife over, resituate all of our strings, and then do the exact same thing. So you're gonna take the left end and put it across everything, and then take the right end and put it through the little hole that's created, and then cinch it tight. And then you're gonna push that up against everything, and then flip over the knife, and repeat the same process. Left string goes over, and then the right goes through the little loop. And then you tighten that up and push it up against the, the other one. And you just keep doing that all the way to the end of the knife. All right, so once you've done that to the entire knife and you've reached the end, you're gonna flip it over one last time and before you do the next knot, you're just gonna, actually you're going to do the next knot just like normal. And then you're going to take the two ends and cinch them to the, to the top and then you're just gonna put a knot in the end. So, kinda ran out of 
string right here at the end, so it's a bit difficult. All right, and then you're gonna cinch that knot as close to the tang as you can, and then pull it tight. And then your handle's done. You can reposition some of the little rolls, but it's pretty done. And then, as always, you can take a lighter and singe the ends of these to, to finish them off. And you can use some scissors to cut off any excess if you, if you use too much. And then your handle is done. So that is the first, first method for putting paracord on your knife handle. So I'm going to take this out and then I'll move on to the next one. Alright, so the next method, you're going to match up the two ends just like we did before, and then find the middle point again, but this time instead of putting it through the hole, you're just going to lay it down on the table, and then put your knife on top of it. And so it's going to line up with the top of the blade right where the blade becomes the handle, and then you're going to fold it over, and then the left side is going to go over the right one and then under the right one. So you're just twisting it and then you're going to pull the twist down and hold it down like that and then you're going to turn it over and do the same thing. Left one goes over and then under and then you pull it down tight and then you move on to the next. You turn it over and twist it just like that and there you go Alright, and when you're done, you're just going to do a last twist like that, turn it over, and then tie a regular just overhand knot at the end, tighten it down, and then bring the two pieces together and tie a knot. Then don't tighten it all the way, and then cinch it all the way down as close to you can, as close as you can and then tighten it like that. And then you've got your knife handle. And so this pattern is really cool and it kind of looks like a chain almost, like links. And so yeah, it's really nice because it's thicker on, down the middle on either side. And so then it gives it more of a round handle and is nice and easy to grab. So I really like this one and you can use your scissors and clip off the ends and then send it down. And this is really good solid handle. All right, so now moving on to the third and final method, you're going to take an end of the string and you're going to make a loop at the end and then lay it down on top of your knife just like this. And so it's just like that. And so there's one end with about an inch hanging off and then it goes all the way past the end of the handle and then there's the working end with all the string on one side. Alright, and so now you're going to take the working end of the string and loop it over the shorter end and you're still leaving this loop there and then you're going to just start wrapping it on the end right here. So you're just gonna cinch it all the way to the bottom just like you like it and then just going to wrap nice and tight and scoot it down and make sure it's all up against each other and then you're just gonna wrap it just like that all right once you've wrapped your handle up to where you want it then you're going to bring the string back up to the top and then you're gonna thread this string through the hole right there 
and then after it goes through that hole then you're going to take this end part and pull and it's going to cinch that hole that loop up and then you're just going to bring it as far under these wraps as you can and scoot everything down to fit and then you're just going to pull it all the way through and if it if you're having trouble then you can use like your scissors to kind of individually move them so then you keep pulling it all right so I pulled it until it's about there it doesn't need to go all the way through there and then you can just cut that end cut that end and singe them and then you've got a really nice handle it's it's not as round as the other ones like it's kind of flat and just kind of holds to the the tang of the knife but I think it's a really nice pattern and it's just really simple and I think it looks really good all right now on to the tips and tricks that I promised at the beginning of this video to make you succeed at this the first time and not end up with a rat's nest full of paracord all right so number one you just have to take it slow it this is not gonna be a super fast process you can't just like do 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 and then finish it in five minutes it's probably gonna take you a good 15 20 maybe even 30 minutes if you are still like learning the wrap and so it's it's not a super long process but you can't rush it you just have to take your time make sure you do every single one correctly and then you'll get it done a lot faster because you won't have to undo it and redo it because if you take it slow then it'll look pretty good the first time around all right and then number two is you just have to adjust and make sure each little turn or twist or a little knot each little section of the of the wrap is good and so before you move on to the next one you need to adjust it push it up like squeeze it up to the next one and just make it sure it's all good and not try to like speed through it really fast and just get them all done and then try to fix it later that's always going to end in disaster so you just do each one adjust it make sure it's good and then turn the knife over and move on to the next one all right and then the last and third tip is just use more paracord than you think you need it would really be a, like I don't know I'd, I'd probably lose it if I got two-thirds of the way through a knife wrap and then I just realized that I didn't have enough paracord so you can if you use too much paracord you can always cut off the ends at the end and it's not that big of a deal but if you use too little then you just have to take the whole thing out and it's just gonna be a big headache so just save yourself the headache and use more paracord than you think you need so it's probably gonna be like between six and eight feet of paracord and you can always err on the side of caution and use eight or eight and a half and make sure you get it done first try so that's all that I've got for you today make sure to subscribe like check out knifemanual.com and check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next one bye guys